to summarize the first, uh, basically the first daf of, uh, of the Maimar on Vayakel, the author Rebbe asks a question, why is it that in Parshas Vayakel, Moshe first tells the Yidin about the mitzvah of, um, of um, Shabbos, and, uh, and then he tells them about the mitzvah of um, the, the Mishkan, whereas in Truman Tetzav, it first talks about the Mishkan, and then it talks about Shabbos. So we explain that there's actually three stages here. There is the structure of the Mishkan, there are the Kalim of the Mishkan, and there is Shabbos. So there's two ways you can go. The structure of the Mishkan represents the idea of Makif, just like the structure surrounds you. The Kalim of the Mishkan represent the, the personalized internalization. And Shabbos represents a level that is ultimately higher, which he explains. It is manifest in mitzvahs. Mitzvahs are like the structure, because when I put on the tefillin, the tefillin don't enter into my physical self. The Torah is like the kalim that are inside the menorah and so forth, because when I learn Torah, I truly master the idea, and therefore it becomes part of me. Like when I learn to read, I see it everywhere. I don't have to engage it as if it's something separate. But then there's the quality of Shabbos, and we started to explain, and we know that on Shabbos, every Jew receives another nesham. What does this mean? That ordinarily, the method that we, during the weekdays, the method we approach to love Hashem is, Shema Yisrael Hashem HaKen Hashem Achad. We not only hear it as like we hear the wind rustling the leaves, but we comprehend it. And then we are motivated to love Hashem your God. And that is the intellect drives the character, which is our preferred method. On Shabbos, though, we are given access to a level that is higher than intellect, a, re- a level that we call tainig or ratzain, our passion, our pleasure, not sensory pleasure, but the essential pleasure of being aligned. That is, the world was created with 10 statements. The first statement is voracious, which introduces the quality of chachmila. And from there, everything is manifest. But on Shabbos, it's by Yinafash, we get access to a loftier level, a more spiritual level, and that's bring, it gives us the opportunity to bring that into our relationship with Hashem. But we contemplate what we do during the six weekdays when we think about the uh, Hashem Elekeinu, that the infinite is our personal, this goes from intellect to heart. On Shabbos, we're given an opportunity to reach a level called Ratzayin, not via the intellect, but by going beyond the intellect.